<laughs> what is this? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're testing two algorithm things today. Uh, intro will be at the end of the video, so, you know, the deck talk is still in here. It's just at the end. Don't panic. Uh, we're going to be running a Steel Ruby deck today. Uh, let's see. What do I, what do I like? What do I don't like? I don't like these. Don't like those at all. Ooh, Mulan is interesting. You guys are going to have to let me know. I know, I know I got some of you guys who like the intros in the intro. <laughs> But man, does the retention tank instantly. Let's get rid of Mulan here. So hopefully, I've piqued your interest. Let's see what this crazy deck's all about. <laughs> I don't know what my opponent's planning, so I'm gonna go on hook. Just in case they're aggro. Just in case we're aggro. Wait, what's the other thing we're testing? You may notice the video is possibly short. It's hard for me to say right now because I just pushed record. <laughs> Okay, aggro on aggro. I think we'll be fine. We can, uh, we can cool our jets. Got a whole new world, though. Hmm. Possibly setting up for, uh... Sorry, Aladdin. I think we might set up for the possibility of a Tink song. Don't have a big Tink, but just in case. Grandma Tala. Okay, so... Oh, good things come to me. Oh, I wish I could rearrange my hand. Respect the Tinkerbell. I haven't seen any comments yet from the other video with my top hat, so just in case, please be, uh, be kind. <laughs> I like my top hat. This thing was expensive and I never get to wear it. Do I sing song? I'm not sure I song, but I still think I tink. Uh, the rough thing with tink is I want to be able to attack Grandma Tala, but her ability is not going to make that possible. I might be playing a pongo. just to make things difficult for my opponent. Ink Tink Sing? I think that's our next play. Ink Tink Sing. I'd love for my opponent to stall right now. You know, maybe be holding on to Maybe they got four copies of Hades in hand, you know, that'd be crazy. Oh, there goes Tinkerbell. Oh, it's Pongo! Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ink. Tink. And, yep, got it, got it, got a ramp. They got a ramp with Grandma Tala. And, Zink. Sing, sing. Close enough. Ooh, baby. I got two uninkables. I want to play Captain Hook, but I might just save it as ink. Yeah, I think you're going to be ink, my friend. What does my opponent have? Surely they're running the Tinkerbell package, too. So that's possible. Hades probably drops. No Hades in hand. Good to know. Interesting. Okay, maybe I don't need to grab a sword now. I think I'm setting up Aladdin here. My opponent already doesn't really want to quest, but... Yeah, I'm gonna set up Aladdin.
We don't need to quest just yet. All right, now do we see the Hades or let it go? One of the two. Hades. I really like Sapphire. Its best cards also happen to have the biggest butts, so they're difficult to deal with. Hmm, could go for a double Pongo here. Pongo and Maui. Maui takes out Maleficent. That's probably the way to go. Alright, I gotta ink one then. Pongo. Maui. Is it worth it to have one point of damage on Hades if I quest with Captain Hook? I don't think Hades attacks Maui. Hmm. I expect Maui to just get removed. I expect everything my opponent to play from this point forward to have massive butts on them, so the swords are going to be a little tricky. So being able to double swords is going to be valuable. They still want to ramp. What could they possibly have at 9 cost that that's so important? They're looking for double spells. Let's get rid of Hades here. If I quest with Tink, then Tink just dies to Mickey and that feels like a feel bad. I'd rather save Tink for a possible singing opportunity. Opponent's running steel, so we could see just, you know, fire the cannons deals with it. All right, Hans deals with Tinkerbell. Can I see you play something else? No? All right, there's no attacks. I could just cast both of these. I will just cast both of these. That'll be my turn and I'll quest with everything except Maui. Maui can sing though, right? Yeah, Maui can sing, so may as well get some use out of him. So close to playing Tinkerbell, but Aurora will die next turn, so that's fine. I'm going to ready Tinkerbell because I still want to keep Tink. Not prepared for Tink to die just yet. It's it's such a fun card. I I hate playing against it because it's so versatile. The the damage is so hard to play around. I got to imagine my opponent struggle with it too. Let's see, support. And nothing. Okay. Chief Tui versus Maui. Alright, let's get the Aurora off the board. And my opponent doesn't have much in the way of removal, so let's just go for it here. Alright, time to close this game. All right, partner, I got a field full of stuff. You need a board wipe, and it's not in your colors. A swords will do some damage, but not going to get you there. I'm liking this deck so far. Not good enough. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was just going to quest. 
But don't be rude. Just quest. Ooh, going second. Gross. Oh, uh, let us see here. Fire the cannons isn't half bad. Not gonna be able to dump this hand fast enough. If I can get another Aladdin, that'd be fantastic, but. I don't like this hand at all. Everything about it's terrible. <laughs> I have no quick plays. I have nothing I'm building towards. The only thing I like is the fire the cannons. Okay, Tink and the Tink is good. Tink Tink song. Okay, I gotta play. I got a play. Unfortunately, I'm on the draw here. So my opponent will likely be out of cards. Well, Maleficent's a long ways off. Amethyst. Calling it now. Steel Amethyst. It's either that or Amber. They gotta draw a card somehow. We get Aladdin down early, just in case we're gonna get into a big Aladdin. It's possible I should have held him for ink. Amethyst, I called it. Ah, oh, I so smart. All right, if Prince Eric is gonna quest, I may attack him with Aladdin. That way he's he dies to Tink. See if I pop him in the mouth, and then next turn Tink will take out Prince Eric because Tink's gonna sing. If Tink's gonna sing. I don't want that, you know, five damage on the board coming back to Big Tink. That'll feel bad. Hmm. If he doesn't quest, I'll go Pongo and then work my way into Tink. But if he does quest, I'll attack him and I'll go into Tink. Opponents in purple, I would really like to see them uh, draw some cards here. Yeah. Okay, opponent did not do the thing. So I could hit Dr. F with the cannons. That'll at least get him in range of a grab your swords. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to go Pongo here. Alright, next turn's where the magic happens. Ink something, and then I'll have enough ink to play Tink and do a Fire the Cannon. Hopefully we can stabilize the board that way. I would really like my opponent to draw a ton of cards. Yes! Keep drawing a ton of cards! Watch them hit me with a whole new world. <laughs> they are in steel. They can totally do it. I don't like that Dr. F. That's super obnoxious. Could shift Tink. Tink will do one damage to everything. Tink attacks Prince Eric. That does two damage to Dr. F. LeFou. Fan the flames. Untap Tink. Attack Maleficent. Do another two damage to Dr. F. No, because I need to sing. Those cards are just going to go right back into his hand. I'm trying to think of how much damage I could do to him.
still think I should attack. Play LeFou. And then sing. Let's get the two damage here. Did he choose not to- Okay, I was gonna say, did he choose not to get his character back? I guess my thing triggers first. There's big Aladdin, that's good. Alright, it didn't matter that my opponent got a bunch of stuff back into their hand, because we just made them discard it anyway. And by a bunch of stuff, I mean one character, Prince Eric. <laughs> Will they trade Dr. F for a Tinkerbell? No, they won't. Just to get him back and to replay him? Opponent, your, your thing is triggered. Just say yes. Say yes, opponent! Did they get it? I don't know if they got their card. Still seven in hand. Well, there should have been a seven and drew a card. Should be an eight. Did they play something and I missed it? Did my opponent disconnect? Did I disconnect? Well then, I guess we'll just sit back and uh, take our victory. Easy peasy. All right, this end of the video is for you guys who like to see the deck reviews. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep it in here. I'm tinkering with the format, how the video is laid out. Bear with me while I let a few videos run for a few days and see how the analytics come back. I'm trying to tackle the situation. Uh, I'll see if I can't put a graph on the screen for you so you can see it. Uh, but effectively, the first like 30 seconds of every single video, every single video, I can't stress that enough. Every video, it tanks. The viewership tanks. Bad. Now, I know the viewership for everyone tanks. That's normal. But for it to tank that much is bad. It's bad, bad business. So, trying to see if we can change some stuff up and get that fixed. Having said that, let's jump into the actual deck review. What is this deck all about? I call this deck the Ready Your Action. So, the idea here is we're running cards. Uh, LeFou, when you play this character, ready chosen character. They can't quest again, but they are readied again. And then we're also running Fan the Flames here. Ready chosen character. They can't quest. Why do we care about that? I'm running two cards that really like that, uh, and a third that kind of likes it, and a fourth that also kind of likes it. So Maui kind of likes it, right? Maui plus a Fan the Flames or a LeFou means Maui can effectively take two things off the board. Tinkerbell with a fan of the flames or a LeFou, uh, she gets to attack and possibly take two things out, and then there's another four damage split up however you want. The two damage here, there, the other place, or together. So already we got <clears throat> some decent characters that care about it. The big ones, however, um, lesser so is the Mulan. During your turn, when this character banishes another character in a challenge, other characters get plus one lore this turn. So you could play her, take out a thing, untap her, take out another thing, and in a really fantastic scenario, you would untap her a third time and take out a third thing. And then all of a sudden, you know, Tinkerbell's questing for five, Aladdin's questing for five, Pongo quests for five, Tink quests for four. Like, that's cool. This is hard. That's a very niche scenario. That's why it's, this is only a two of. Uh, but the big one is your Aladdin. Aladdin being able to get in and take things out. And even if Aladdin's not capable of taking things out, as we saw in one of our games, uh, we don't have to leave him in a in a vulnerable position. We could take a thing out and get the two. Technically, it's a four lore swing because they're going down two. You're going up two. That's a four point difference. Uh, 
We don't have to leave him tapped and vulnerable where his ability doesn't do anything. We can fan the flames and ready him again. Even if there isn't another attacking target, Aladdin's not vulnerable to just being attacked off the board. That is the main goal of this deck, is to get these four guys set up in such a way that you could take advantage of untapping them and going for their full potential. Uh, yeah, and then we're running some other, you know, just classic pieces. We got two songs on five, so we can do the Tinkerbell, sing a song on four, do a bunch of damage to grab your swords, or reset the hands with the whole new world. Uh, and then, of course, we got a couple of expensive Aladdin and Maleficent. If we need to, we could sing the Be Prepared, but we'll likely just hard cast it if we need it. Um, outside of that, the Evasive, the Aladdins, the Lafus. This is a fun deck. Links in the description down below, along with a link for my Discord. Uh, feel free to join my Discord. I like seeing your guys' deck lists and talking about the game and, you know, finding out about tournaments and what you guys have done and things you've tried. As you know, I'm ma making a new deck every single day and uh, run it out of ideas, so it's cool to find and hear about synergies that I did not know about. Uh, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.